And hello there, YouTube. This is Zoo Tycooner Steve, and welcome you back to the fifth episode of our Random Roll Zoo. For those of us just joining in progress, the premise of this is we are just going ahead and using a random number generator to pick which animal we're going to build our next exhibit from, uh, from the queue here. So let's go ahead and pull up the animals. We're going to roll the number and just count them off, one, two, three, four, etc. And that's going to determine what we're going to be putting next. Uh, like I said, this is our fifth episode. We've already done uh, Darwin's Rias, Barrels, uh, Indian vultures and great horned owls in the barn here. That was our last episode. We also put an information kiosk and uh, a place to go to the bathroom because, frankly, uh, that soda pop I had earlier was going right through me. Anyway, let's go ahead and roll and see what we get. Okay, and we are rolling 228. Let's go ahead and find out what we're getting. All right, so uh, 224... Uh, 225, 226, 227, 228. We are getting our first pre-hysterical animal. Let's go ahead and take a look what we have. Dimorphodon. We've got a pterosaur. Okay. Wasn't planning on putting any pterosaurs in the zoo. It's going to go real nice next to our quaint little barn exhibit here. Uh, tell you what, what we can. I, okay, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. It's already forming in my mind. Uh, pterosaur exhibit. I don't think I've ever made one of those. Um, so if I branch off this way, I can move around and build something here. Um, that's actually. It's interesting. We got three flies. Although technically, pterosaurs don't fly; they glide. Uh, because pterosaurs aren't. Uh, they don't evolve into birds. It's the actual dinosaurs. The theropods that do. Um, these guys just kind of glide. So I don't need to make them a bird cage necessarily, although that's certainly a way to go. It's what they did in Jurassic Park 3 though, so maybe I should avoid that. Um, hmm. Uh, what? How do I want to do this? Uh, these guys aren't that big either, so they don't have to take up a heck of a ton of room. Uh, that's where the bathrooms are. So I can scoot this out here. Build it. Okay, I th think I know what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm confident enough that we can begin the build mode. So let me go ahead and get that started, and I will see you in the walkthrough. All right, here we go.
Well, welcome back there. We've gone through the build and now it's time to take our walk through of the exhibit. Uh, I think with uh, I think with the entrance of this exhibit, or with the addition of this exhibit, I should say, our zoo is officially kind of a mess in terms of just overall zoo layout because now we've got kind of just this one exhibit that just kind of points north. And oh, I didn't realize there was a little tiger on there, so I might change that art way. Oh well, either way, we've got this one kind of weird exhibit that just points north here that has a prehistoric animal. But that's all right because the exhibit itself came out more or less okay. So obviously we can keep going down the main path here past the barn owls, or we can go to the much more imposing structure we have here for our dimorphodons. Go ahead and walk in through here, up the stairway. I'm afraid I didn't make this one OSHA compliant, so that I didn't put in a ramp there, but if you want to know how to put in a ramp, uh, just don't add the stairs. Problem solved. All right, let's move in, and we'll take a look in our main observation area. Oh, there they are. Uh-oh. Are those models just kind of sitting on the ground? That's not good. Uh, I don't like that's no bueno. They look good, they're just not doing anything. That's not good at all. Okay, we're gonna do a quick switch then. Um, so yeah, I know this kind of violates the spirit of the random zoo a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and take these guys out and put in a model of Pterosaur that works. And we're just going to say that they're dimorphodons. Uh, that's going to work fine. Sorry about that, folks. Like I said, I haven't used this model before, and apparently looks good, not fully functional. Whoops, let's zoom in here. So. Hmm. Oh, come on. Fine, we'll do it the uh, we'll do it the official way. Boo hoo. I guess I could edit this out, but. Uh, eh. I feel like I should at least provide you the information that these guys aren't working 110%, so that way you don't have to hunt them down and find them. Okay, we're going to get rid of these guys real quick. And I know I've got a few other pterosaurs in here, so let's go ahead and grab some of those real quick. Um, in fact, here's one right here. These pterodons, uh, which are a little bit bigger too, I think. Are they? Where are they? I don't even see it. Oh no! Are they one of the ones that are perpetually flying kind of animals? Nope. Okay. Well, this is no bueno. Um, I think I've got another one. That's okay. We'll keep going through. I think I've got a couple of these guys. I went to the T's. Look in the P's. There's a silent P. Come on, Steven. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Where are we even? Uh, kangaroo. We're in the cave. Parrots, platypuses, looking for pterosaurs in all the wrong places. Do, 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 do. I know I've got at least one of these guys working in here. That stinks. Aha! Maybe that's the working. There we go. That's probably the working pterodon. So let's go ahead and drop one in the cage. And we'll go ahead and put uh, a few out here too. And then we'll go ahead and walk back into the exhibit and pretend this never happens. Where are you? You're gonna right now. I'm looking you at you. Yeah, you. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, Bob. That's right. This is a secret between you and me, Bob. You will tell nobody that that this happened. You'll just, Bob. You and I are gonna take the secret to our graves. So don't tell them anything about this being a mistake. Boy, I would really like it if there was a very gullible person named Bob that listened to my channel. Okay, let's go ahead and walk in again. And this time, we're going to be amazed and astounded by what we see. Do, 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 Aha, you can see these guys are actually walking around, actually doing some things. It's amazing how the one, the, the, the animals I use first work perfectly. Uh, and I'm actually pretty happy with this kind of larger cage. I think I've... Uh, use this kind of uh, exhibit before. In fact, it might be inspired by somebody else's, but uh, meh, can't remember that now. Uh, if I did steal it once again, I apologize. Just uh, take it as a compliment. Um, but I honestly can't remember taking it from anyone. So yeah, okay, so let's keep going through. Uh, I want to show off this little feature up here in the higher observation area I made to the side. 
And uh, I didn't have any like specific uh, statues or signage for our uh, Dimetrodons. So I just put down these two dinosaur eggs and then I put up the signs in the back here. You're gonna have to pretend there's something scribbled on there that tells you some information. I don't know how to create models myself. I've never been able to get it to work, so I'm not gonna make originals for here. But that's just the basic idea of how you can make a little display uh, museum area. If you don't have anything specific for your creatures, you can just kind of take on theme stuff, plop it down, give it a special little floor and some background signs that need to be filled in. Uh, you can even put TVs up there and just pretend that like Oh, our zoo became more famous. Fantastic. Uh, you can put TVs up there and pretend like it's showing just the zoo logo, but that's because it's in between the video loop. Um, oh, they're walking around. Walking around, doing great, great things. Wonderful things are happening. Let's go ahead then and go around to the zookeeper side so you can check out the, uh, the off-exhibit paddocks I made for these guys. Do, 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 do. So a little pastor. Great horned owl exhibit here. How are they doing? Hi guys, there's some right there. Looking so cool. Uh, I flipped myself around, tried to look at them. Uh, oh, I can run, can't I? Can't I? Yes, there we go. Oh, Barry Allen, eat your heart out. So, if we go behind, we see that there's a zookeeper entrance right over here. Let's throw open the doors and walk inside. And you can see some pretty cool, it's a basic setup that I'm using more and more because I think it's a real simple way to get this design in. Uh, I like to, uh, you've probably noticed this in the past couple of exhibits, build in like a little indent into the walls and then put the larger uh, cages and books, right th or cages and shelves and cabinets there. Uh, we also, of course, want to put in a little area where we can do our computers and stuff. You can see that there is a pterodon or yeah, a Dimetrodon, totally a Dimetrodon in this cage. And it does look like that one over there, you can see it's heading out of the cage. So this is a fully working exhibit. It's close enough that they can obviously figure out with the AI that they need to go through these to get to the main exhibit. Oh, in fact, one's coming in. So this is a perfectly working exhibit uh, as far as uh, the cage area is getting in and out. And of course, the zookeepers, we have a door here that we're going to throw in. I purposely kept the glass on that door and didn't try to cover it up because, you know, I want to be able to see if there's a giant killer flying reptile right outside the door waiting to peck my brains in. But they appear to be fairly docile, so no big problems here. Scrub, scrub there, scrub, scrub there, and a couple of tra-la-las. That's how we clean our Dimetrodons, the merry old random roll zoo. Great! Okay, so it's looking good, it's working good, and uh, most importantly, the models work perfectly, and I did not lead you astray, and we haven't violated any of the laws or spirit of the Random Roll Zoo. So that's that model for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, go ahead and actually like the video. Uh, if you want, you can subscribe to my channel, of course. And then if you click the little bell, you'll be cleaned into my completely erratic posting schedule. I make no apologies. That's how I live my life. Deal with it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video today. Uh, whether you have or haven't, I've been Zoo Tycoon Steve. I want to thank you for watching with me today, and I will uh, see you later. Bye.